Between the Great Pottery Throwdown becoming a worldwide success and people just wanting to start pottery as a new hobby, this little pottery wheel machine has suddenly become quite popular. The budget price and small apartment size is also a reason these little wheels are popular. Follow along as I help you with your decision to purchase or not. Hi, Marie here with a review video for you. I use the Brent CXC Pottery Wheel, but knowing some of you might be on a limited budget or you may not have access to local pottery classes, or you may just want a pottery wheel without the hefty price. Fear not, I decided to buy one. This one is called the Sky Towel, and this video is not sponsored in any way. I'll run you through some tests and give you the positives and negatives of this little guy. So follow along as I give you an overview of the Sky Towel specifics and see if you may consider it. Last but not least, I will actually turn it on for the very first time and make a small bowl. All the supplies used for this video are listed for you in the description below. Let's take a closer look at this baby. This Sky Tao pottery machine is 14 inches high with the splash pan on. It comes with four metal carving tools and six plastic carving tools and a sponge. Using a level, you have to adjust the feet until your wheel is level. And You can set it on a stand or a table of some kind for the right height. I'll be standing, so this table is very sturdy. The shell is made of sheet metal, and the wheel head is aluminum alloy. It's 9.8 inches across. That's close to 10 inches across, which is pretty good. The average size wheel head is 12 to 14 inches across. The motor is 350 watts, which is close to a half a horsepower. The average full-size pottery wheel has one-third to a full horsepower. The rotary speed goes up to 300 RPMs. The average for a full-size wheel is around 250 RPMs. It doesn't say how much clay the wheel can handle. I just got it, so I haven't been able to test it out you most likely won't be throwing over 25 pounds on this wheel. It has no bat pins, but if you're handy or you know someone that is, you can drill some in. The wheel head goes both clockwise and counterclockwise, an option that's not always found on some full-size wheels. Always let the wheel stop completely before changing direction. The splash pan is removable, which is a plus. Some pottery wheel splash pans are not removable or they're hard to remove. There's a small fixed foot pedal with a hand lever that gives you two options to regulate the speed. Let's take this little baby for a test drive. Turn it on. And I'm going counterclockwise, so I'll put it on forward. The motor's quiet, especially at the lower speed. Little noise on the higher speed, but that's normal. The speed control is smooth, and the lever's really handy. I do feel a little thumping. Let's test her out.
I have a pound of Amico number 11 Amix stoneware white clay. Let's see how it takes the pressure of centering. Splash pan works good. It doesn't lag at all when I'm putting pressure on the clay. That's really good. And it's centered good. It doesn't hold that much water in the little pan. You may want to put a little bucket right here. Let's see how well it throws. Pretty good so far. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. All comments are welcome. Stop my little wheel. This is handy. That's good. does get a little messy when you have to adjust the speed. But that's okay. You can clean that up. What doesn't get messy when you're working with clay? <laughs> you can hit the like button anytime and share with someone you know that may be interested in a small wheel like this. My little bowl turned out pretty good. I like this little machine. I think it'll come in pretty handy. I think this wheel will also be good for spray glazing and applying slip. Let's see how she cleans up. I can just pour the water out into a bucket. The splash pan cleans up pretty good. All in all, this is a pretty good pottery wheel machine. My Giffen grip even fits on the wheel. Today you just found out that learning to throw on the wheel just got a little less expensive. If you're thinking of trying out this great relaxing hobby, one of these little guys might be for you. The SkyTile has quite a few options that are also found on full-size wheels. That's pretty impressive for the price. As I demonstrated, you can make a small bowl quick and easy, just like I do on the full-size wheel. This pottery wheel machine is good for the beginner potter on a budget, or possibly a second wheel that you can use for making small items, trimming, spray glazing, and decorating. Think of it as a banding wheel with controlled power. If you want to check out the sky towel, click down below in the show notes and follow my link where I purchased this pottery wheel machine. I hope I've helped you in your decision. Please give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more videos in the future, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you get notified anytime new content comes out. Lastly, I build my list on videos to create based on feedback from viewers like you. You watching helps me to make more videos like this one. If you're having trouble centering, head on over to my how to center clay video or this how to wedge clay video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Start making pottery today and maybe someday you can try out for the great pottery throwdown. Let's stay dirty.